Hey, what's going on? It's Barrett with Espresso Outlet. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to do an unboxing on this Fella Opus grinder. So the other day, we got this Bratza ESP in, and it is a $200, give or take, 40 millimeter conical grinder. The Bratza brand has been out for quite a while, so it's gonna be really fun to see how that stacks up against this Fella Opus. So we have this Fella Opus, and I posted this to Facebook and I was a little bit surprised. It seemed like there was a handful of people that had gotten it and they didn't love it. Uh, I don't know if it's just the brand. I, I really can't tell you, but we're definitely gonna put it through its paces. So let's just get it opened up. So a nice box has some literature in the top, nothing special. And then it has a formed cardboard body. So that's always nice. I like it when they do that. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna go for it. Here's the grinder and a lid. So not a whole lot. Let's put this to the side. Okay, let's just start with the grinder. So to start with, we have our dosing cup, it looks like, and the grinder and a cord over, or a bag over the cord. There's our dosing cup, and then we have another lid. I'm not real sure how that works. We'll figure it out. First time I've used and even really seen the Opus. So, not a whole lot in the box, it looks like. Uh, no cleaning brush, the brats had the cleaning brush. It looks like it has kind of an interesting dosing cup design. So I think I understand. This is more for just like grinding for like a pour over. And then it uses the same size cup, but it has this insert that goes into the large cup. But it's not like a funnel. I mean, it doesn't go through the bottom. So I bet this fits. Let's grab a pour to filter. So this fits your pour to filter. So it's kind of an oversized dosing cup in a way, but I can see where they're going with that. Let's try it on a Breville. Looks like the Breville fits for all your Breville fans. So it is kind of a smaller dosing cup to accommodate the 54 and the 58. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, going back, it has kind of just like a little spout on the inside. It's probably a little hard to see with the black reflection, but you can grind into it and put it into your V60 or whatever it may be. Uh, I'll probably be using it mostly for the espresso. So let's, let's move the camera closer. Okay. So to begin with, just kind of looking at how it functions. We have our adjustment dial on the top. It has, it says time your grind. Uh, one short press is 30 seconds, two short presses, 60, three short presses, 90. Press and hold is two minutes, so, okay. Um, the lid, I already kind of find it a little bit weird. It kind of goes really deep into the hopper. So I'm not sure about that. It does have a, looks like a cheat sheet on the top, so instead of it being, I don't know if you can read it, too much light. So instead of it being on the front of the grinder itself, it says one to three is espresso, two to five is air press and so on. So it kind of gives you a little cheat sheet. Um, there's the hopper, this pulls off pretty easy. It has this kind of plus minus adjustment so you can adjust your zero, which is kind of nice. Looks like you can pull out the burr pretty easily. And this kind of rotates into place. Put that back in. And to put it all back together, let's rotate it on and put our funky lid on. The back, let's see, let's get this cord undone. The back is just kind of like this plastic corrugated feeling stuff. It kind of doesn't feel like a whole lot of weight here. 
Um, I was actually expecting the Brazza. It's about the same si or weight as the Brazza. Um, I was expecting the Brazza to weigh a little bit less. It's not like it's a real heavy grinder by any means, but there's not a whole lot of weight there. It does have this magnetic cup alignment thing, which people think is super cool. So that's kind of nice. Um, that's about it. There's not a whole lot to even unbox on this grinder or look at. Um, so we're going to be comparing these two grinders side by side, and we're just going to put them through their paces. We'll use them for some drip and uh, V60, espresso, AeroPress, and see kind of how they stack up. Is there anything about them that is just a major game changer from one to the other? They're both 40 millimeter conical burrs, so in that $200 introductory price range, I think they're gonna be really good for a lot of people just starting out. But we wanna look at the build quality. You know, I like to take stuff apart, so we're gonna open both of these up. We'll do some side-by-side -side testing, just a couple different methods of brewing, and we're just gonna play with it. If you have one of these grinders and you love it, comment below if you have one of these grinders and you wish they did something different or you hate it or whatever it may be, comment below. And I want to try it. I want to address it and to see what's great or what could be improved upon. I mean, as an engineer, I always like to think about improving a product. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun since they are so similar, but yet they couldn't be more different from each other. And we're not just going to use these two grinders. We're actually going to have a third one in the mix, probably a fourth. So make sure to hit subscribe and check back because... I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think a lot of people that are just getting started in the espresso world, they're gonna like these comparisons. And we're not just gonna compare grinder to grinder, we're gonna focus on each grinder individually before we do that, because we wanna get to know each grinder individually. Um, just see what works and maybe what doesn't. It is the $200 ballpark, so I don't expect just loads. But as I mentioned with the Brazza, I had a Brazza Preciso for quite a few years and at the time, I really enjoyed it. I've just kind of outgrown it a little bit, but I think it's an excellent introductory grinder. So again, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and check back. Thanks.